Why, hello there guys, and welcome back to Not Only Surviving with Thriving Living in Thailand with me, your crazy kooky host. Yes, it is Thailand's happiest hobo, Thailand's tipsiest tour guide, Thailand's favorite former realtor, Dr. Mark Sabian. Yes, guys, welcome back to quite possibly the dumbest thing you're gonna watch all day. Welcome back to me. Listen, there's only one of two reasons why you clicked on this video. You're either thinking about moving to Thailand, wondering, will I thrive or survive? That, or you're in the middle of a colonoscopy and you're thinking, well, my day can't get any worse. I may as well watch this absolute idiot and see what he has to spew today. Whatever your reason, I'm just happy for the view and I really appreciate it. Guys, here are my top three reasons why I think guys are coming to Thailand and failing. I know that there's a plethora of reasons. There's, it's almost endless, but these are my top three reasons why guys come here and fail. Budgeting. Now I fully understand that most guys would rather have a colonoscopy than actually sit down and build a budget and try to stick to it. However, I'm gonna tell you right now, the number one reason why guys have to go home with their tail between their legs from Thailand is that they just financially fail living here. They run out of money and uh, you would not believe how many men I've seen have to reach out to their ex-wives and beg their ex-wife to get them a plane ticket back home so that they can get out of Thailand. They, they just, they're going bankrupt. It is amazing. Now, if we're being honest, and let's face it, I have compared this video to a colonoscopy, so I'm pretty sure you can trust me for honesty. We all know that there's one major reason why guys go broke here, which I will get to the end at it. At, I'll get to that at the end of the video. However, budgeting and understanding the value of a dollar and being able to do simple mathematic equations in your head will go a long way to your success here in Thailand. I'm not sure what it is about or what it says about the current education system, but I'm shocked at how many guys cannot do a simple currency conversion and understand how much something is costing them. I recently did a cost of living video where I'm talking about how it's getting more expensive to live here, but it's not because prices are going up, it's because our money is not worth what it was even just three months ago. And I was absolutely shocked, saddened, depressed, and downright scared by some of the comments because I just, it to me is staggering how people do not understand the value of a dollar. Now, a lot of people in the comment section were saying, well, you can't think about it in dollars. You can't think about it in euros, in pounds. You have to think about it in bot. And quite honestly, that is absolutely stupid. It is, it's setting yourself up to fail is, is the best way to put it. Um, you have to think about things in your home currency because let's be honest, that's how 99% of us are getting our money. If you're one of the few people who are actually living here and earning bot, this doesn't really concern you. However, if you are someone who's getting money from savings or a pension or even you know, a job from back home, you fully need to understand the value of your dollar compared to the Thai bot. Not only that, it's, it's, to me it's unbelievable because these guys that can't do a simple currency conversion don't understand how much stuff is costing them. All they know is that, well, it's 100 baht, and to them 100 baht is nothing. It's like play money, monopoly money. But you have to use your actual money to buy that monopoly money, that play money. I have been out with guys so many times and we've been sitting there and let's say we were just at a, at a bar and we get a beer for 100 baht. You would be surprised how many people do not know how much that is costing them in their home currency, okay? I know for me, Canadians costing me about $4. If I was an American, it's costing me about $3. If I'm from the UK, it's costing me right around, you know, 2.2 pounds. Um, euros, it's costing me close to three euros. I know these things, but you would be surprised how many people do not understand currencies and the value of their currency compared to the Thai bot. Right now, the Thai bot is going up against every single currency, okay? And it's something that you need to be aware of. 
I'm going to offend a lot of people when I say this. I'm going to say some bad words. You're just going to have to deal with it. Anybody who does not pay attention to their money doesn't fucking have any money, okay? I... I find it so funny in the comment section. The guys are like, oh, if you're that pathetic and you have to worry about exchange rates, you're broke. You're a brokey. You're a brokey. No, I'm going to tell you something. Anybody who has money pays attention to their money, okay? That's just the way it is. They protect their money because they understand how hard it was to earn it, how they had to work so hard to get that money. They're smart with their money. They're not losing their money. They... You protect what you have, guys, okay? If you don't have shit, you're not going to protect shit. That's just the way it goes. And I have found that the number one thing that causes people to leave is money. And guys are failing because they can't budget. They don't understand the value of a dollar. They can't do simple multiplication. They can't do addition, subtraction, division. They they just, it, to me, it's unbelievable. There's different things that causes guys to go through money, which I'm going to get to here in a few minutes. But the number one reason that guys are leaving, it's because they are going broke. End of story. I'm trying to drown my demons again, but they know how to swim, folks. I'm trying to drown my demons again, but they know how to swim. That's pretty profound when you think about it. And it actually reminds me of my favorite expression when it comes to life. No matter where you go, there you are. I'm going to tell you something, guys. Demons can not only swim, they can fly, they can pack themselves into your suitcase, and I don't care where you run to, you cannot outrun your demons. I know that there's all kinds of videos on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, where you have this incredibly handsome, good-looking young guy walking along the beach talking about how he found himself, how he found purpose here in Thailand. I'm going to tell you something. As a 50 or 60-year-old man, you're not going to find yourself here in Thailand. You're not going to find some miracle cure or some crazy fix for the problems and the demons that you have in life especially if you have addiction issues. They are going to get magnified here in Thailand exponentially. Booze is everywhere. So if you have a drinking problem and you think that you're going to come to Thailand and solve that by going to the beach or going to a healthy gym, your chances of success are almost absolutely nothing. If you have a drug problem, and I'm not talking about weed, and please don't, I don't want to hear people in the comment section talking about how, oh, weed, you know, it's booze is worse than weed. I'm talking about drugs. Look, there's, there's cannabis shops in every single corner, and in between the corners, there's 30 or 40 cannabis shops. I'm talking hard drugs and what they do to people, even, man, even cannabis, okay? Booze, booze is a drug. There's no question about it. I'm talking flat out addiction. And here in Thailand, drugs are everywhere. It's not just the cannabis. It is hard drugs, heroin, coke, you name it, you can get it anywhere. I can't walk down Bangla Road, Khao San Road, Soy Cowboy, Nana, Sukhumvit. I can't go anywhere without someone going like this to me or going like this. Uh, and I know I look like an idiot, but I don't think I look like a drug addict. I, I really don't. Um, I get offered drugs all of the time. And guys, please, please listen to me when I tell you this. A lot of the girls who are in the industry, who are in the bars, the freelancers, a lot of them have addiction problems because they're trying to, they're trying to deaden the pain essentially. And a lot of these girls are on all kinds of drugs. That's just the truth, okay? Yes, there's some who are not, but there are crazy amounts that are. And what can happen is these girls come back to your room with you. You've had way too much to drink. You bring them back to your place. They've got drugs on them. And next thing you know, you're thinking, oh, how bad can it be? You know, what can it hurt? And yeah, if you have addiction problems, Thailand is 
it's going to swallow you up and it's not even going to spit you out because it's probably not going to give you the chance to get away from it. It really isn't. It is probably one of the worst places you can go if you have any type of addiction problem. Now, I think right now is a very good time to remind everybody that yes, I'm joking about colonoscopies and I call myself Dr. Mark Sabian. I am not a doctor. I have never pretended to be one. Dr. Mark Sabian was born out of some viral Facebook videos during the pandemic. People asked me to keep doing videos as Dr. Mark and when I started my YouTube channel, it just naturally flowed into it. Please understand, I am not a doctor. So what I'm going to talk about here when I'm talking about mental health, it's from my own personal experience and what I have witnessed here in Thailand talking to so many people and having so many families reach out to me because their fathers have killed themselves, their sons have killed themselves, guys who are on the brink of suicide every single day because of what's happening to them here in Thailand because they were not prepared to be in Thailand. Again, guys, what I'm talking about is from my own personal experience. I am not a doctor, so keep that in mind during this segment here. If you suffer from any mental health issues, guys, Thailand is probably not the safest place for you, okay? I have talked in many of my videos about my own battles with depression and anxiety. I've talked about having low self-esteem at times. And I'm just going to flat out tell you, if you suffer from low self-esteem, codependency, dependency issues, stuff like this, abandonment, this is definitely not the place for you. Because once you, when you first get here, you are going to be alone. Unless you know somebody, uh, you've got friends, or so, and very few people move here who have a, a group, a base of friends. A lot of guys move here because they've been talking to some girl on Thai Friendly or one of these other dating sites. They move here and all of a sudden they find themselves completely, totally alone. And this is not the place for anybody suffering from low self-esteem, dependency issues, anything like that, guys, because it honestly, you're going to get taken advantage of by almost every single person and you will find yourself in such a depressive state all of the time and you're going to try and find some way to deaden or dull the pain and most likely that's going to be through alcohol drugs women you name it it uh yeah i've seen again so many people kill themselves so many men and kids i'm working on a video right now for a family whose son killed himself because of his Thai girlfriend. They've asked me to do a video about it and I'm struggling so hard to do it. This is one of the reasons why, guys, I haven't been doing a lot of videos lately. I'm struggling so hard. You have no idea how many people reach out to me on a daily basis, sharing their, their failures, sharing you know their deepest, darkest moments with me and I'm trying to process it and it is, Man, it, it's really hard. I uh, just recently had a 22-year-old kid that I've been talking to for a year kill himself. And it just... I'm telling you right now, Thailand is not the spot for you. If you've got any type of demon, be it addiction or mental health issue, it's... it's man, it's... it's this is hell. Now also, not only is self-esteem a big issue, but I'm gonna tell you something. This dependency problem that guys seem to have, I am, I'm just, I find it unbelievable how many guys cannot spend five minutes alone by themselves. It just, to me, I personally, I find it peaceful to be able to just jump on the bike, go someplace and enjoy myself and myself. I'm not talking self gratification or anything like that, guys. I'm really not. I'm just saying I can't believe how many guys have to have a girl with them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It is just madness to me. I don't understand it. I've seen guys come here, spend an entire two week vacation with one of the most beautiful girls in the world. And as soon as that girl is not with them anymore because she had to go home, she had. 
they automatically are on Thai Friendly trying to get another date for that very minute because they just cannot be alone. If you're one of these guys, I'm going to tell you something. You're going to fail here in Thailand, no question at all. And uh, th there's a very good reason for that, which, well, let's get to right now. If we're being honest, these girls are ruthless, absolutely ruthless. And I'm going to tell you this much. They will leave you feeling like you just had the hardest colonoscopy of your life. Now, I do promise you this much. That's the last colonoscopy joke. I understand a lot of you guys like them. 60% will like it, to be honest. Yeah, Whoa. especially from German. But at the end of the day, I promise you that is the last one. Listen, when I tell you this, the girls and I'm talking about the girls that guys are coming here and meeting, okay? Not your regular normal Thai girl. I'm talking about the girls that the guys are coming here and meeting. Let's be honest, 99% of the guys are coming and meeting massage girls, bar girls, or freelancers. That's what they're doing. They're not taking the time to go up to Udon Tani or any place like this and meeting, you know, a nice, honest, good living, clean, village girl, et cetera, et cetera. They're not going to Bangkok and meeting a doctor, a lawyer, or a dentist, or anything like this. They're coming to Phuket, they're coming to Pattaya, they're coming to Bangkok, they're going, going to Hu Hin. They're going to the bars, the massage shops, and they think that they're gonna save some local girl and give her a fantastic life and be treated like a king. And that's just not fucking happening. It's not realistic. And guys, I'm gonna tell you something right now. This is the thing that is destroying so many men here. It's absolutely crazy. Now listen, I'm not the first guy to do a video about bar girls, massage girls, freelancers, how they have destroyed men's lives here. But I'll probably be the first one to say this. It's not their fault. It's yours. You are coming here completely, totally unprepared. You have not experienced enough in life for you to be able to handle what's going to happen to you here, okay? Listen, I have been extremely fortunate in life where I have dated some of the most beautiful girls in the world. That's not a flex, that's not a brag, that's just, I'm telling you that it's a little easier for me when I come here because I am not, I'm not intoxicated by what's going on here, okay? A lot of guys have never been with a pretty girl. Some guys have never been with a girl who's even sexual or attractive. It's just uncomprehensible for them to come here and understand that yes, you can be with these girls. However, you have to keep in mind, guys, that Sex to them is completely different than it is for you. A lot of guys equate love with sex and sex with love, and the girls here in Thailand do not. They equate it with money and providing for their family, and they will do anything they possibly can to get money from you so that they can give it to their families or they can have it for themselves. They, at the end of the day, they don't give a about you. The only person who cares about you is yourself. And I'm going to tell you something. That's the number one reason why guys fail. Forget about budgeting. Forget about addictions. Forget about the girls. It's because when they come to Thailand, they are not prepared to be here. They have no idea how to live. They don't know how to say no. They don't know how to be by themselves. They can't take care of themselves. And that is the number one reason why guys fail here. And I'm going to tell you something. There's so many videos out there blaming it on the girls, blaming it on this, but it's your fault. 99% of your problems in life are your fault. There might be one little tiny smidgen here or there that you can blame on someone else, but for the most part, guys, I hate to say it, it's your fault. Now, again, I know I'm going to upset people with that, but at the end of the day, it's the truth and you need to understand it before you ever think about coming here because Thailand, again, as beautiful it is, as intoxicating as it is, it can just grab you and just, it changes you even. Anyways, guys, that's, uh, that's the end of my rant. I, uh... I don't know if you got anything out of this video or not. Who knows? Um, again, I just want you to live your best life. If you're not living your best life, find out what you need to do. And most likely what you need to do 
is you need to look at yourself and change yourself, protect yourself before ever thinking about coming here. Because I promise you, you will not survive. You will not thrive if you are not at peace with yourself and love who you are. Till next time, guys. Cheers.